People, I got so many requests by people saying, can you light something on fire? Here we go, that's on fire now. I got so much hate last week. A lot of you reached out and a lot of you texted me and said that I said last week that small batch whiskey is just as good as Jack Daniels. Just as good. Jack Daniels, you're not gonna notice the difference. Jack Daniels. And that is completely not the case. So this week, we're gonna work with one of my favorite small batch whiskeys, Hudson Baby Bourbon. This is actually the first distillery to open in New York after Prohibition. They opened in 2012. They are some of the nicest people I've ever met. They make a damn good whiskey too. So what, what I'm trying to say is that Jack Daniels flavors aren't nearly as developed as the ones that you're gonna get in something small batch like this and you're not going to necessarily notice the same kind of notes in a cocktail where the liquor isn't forward, like the, the whiskey sour that we did last week. This week, we are gonna be focusing on a cocktail that is liquor forward. A lot of you guys requested it. I'm really stoked to do it. It's the old fashioned. Uh, again, a really simple but old school classic cocktail that everyone's gonna love. What we're gonna need this week is some whiskey. Again, simple syrup. And some bitters. So for those of you who haven't worked with bitters before, bitters are basically a, a super concentrated liquor with some spices in it that generally add complexity to a drink. They really change the composition of the cocktail once you add these in. A cocktail's never gonna require more than a few dashes of bitters to go into it, so buy yourself a bottle. This is the only bottle that I've ever bought of bitters. It'll last you a long time. That's a true, this is from college. Woo! So again, we're gonna start out with some ice in the shaker. And then first things first, we're gonna measure out two ounces of the baby bourbon. Two shots of vodka. And it doesn't have to be precise. So most recipes are gonna call for a bar spoon of simple syrup, but you can use just a little bit under an ounce and that'll do just fine. All you need after this point is just three quick dashes of bitters. But then after that, all it needs is a quick shake. Nothing too vigorous. And then pour right into the glass. And then to finish it off, we're gonna garnish with a cherry. Now that's usually a telltale sign of a pre-prohibition cocktail. Any cocktail that was made before the Prohibition era was usually garnished with a cherry. At that point, oranges and limes weren't really in fashion. So that's the old fashioned. Really easy cocktail to make with a little bit of history behind it. Uh, definitely a good cocktail to have in your repertoire. So if you have a cocktail you wanna see next week, leave it in the comments below. I've been reading all of them. You guys have given me some great ideas on, on what cocktails you wanna see. If you've been following along with the series and you've been making the cocktails along with me, send me a picture or a video of you making it. I'd, I'd love to see uh, the progress that you guys are making. But to that, cheers. It's like I've never made a cocktail before. Yeah.